Ashley and today we're going to be making homemade pizzas. They're great for a quick lunch or for a snack or for dinner and the great thing is about them you can personalize them to whatever you like. So the first thing we need to do when prepping any sort of food is always make sure to wash our hands. So we've washed our hands, the second thing we want to do is preheat our oven so that it's ready for us to go. So we're going to preheat our oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Now that we've got that done, we can start prepping our food. Okay, so first what we're going to do is we're going to prep a sauce. So we're going to make our own homemade pizza and we're going to use wraps to do it. So these wraps are great because they're double layered, which means that it's going to be nice and strong to support the base of our pizza. Whereas if we use just a normal wrap, maybe that we might put some tuna in or anything, it's only one layer. So it means it can get a little bit soggy and not support the weight of our pizza, which nobody wants the pizza falling apart on them. So the first thing of our pizza, we need to make our own sauce. So what I do is great. We're going to use passata as the base for our sauce. This here is just blended tomato. And what's really good about making your own sauce is you can control what goes into it. So you can say how much sugar goes into it, how much salt, what flavorings you like. You get to personalize it to you. And it means you can also make it a bit healthier if you want. So this here is great. It has no added sugars or anything. It's just pure tomato. So we're going to start off with this. We're going to put our sauce into our bowl. Now we don't need to use all of this because there's quite a lot in it. So if we're making maybe say four or five of these little pizzas, half of this is plenty. And sure you can always keep the rest later to make your own pasta sauce. So I'm gonna pop it into my nice clean bowl here. Again, I'm not gonna use all of it. There, you go. that should be enough. All right, so I've used about a half of it. And what I'm gonna do now is now I need to flavor it because this here right now is just pure tomato. So it can be a little bit bitter. So how can we counteract bitter? We do need to add a little bit of sugar, but we're in control. We get to decide how much sugar goes in. So we actually only want a tiny, tiny little bit. So I have a little teaspoon here. I'm gonna put about a quarter of a teaspoon in and that's enough for all of this. If I was using the whole thing, I'd put maybe about a half a teaspoon in. So it'll just get rid of the nice bitterness. And if you want, you could use candorel sugar either. You don't have to use real sugar. So a little bit in, I'm just gonna sprinkle that on top. And then I'm gonna add in a tiny bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. So again, to your own taste. So I'm just going to put in a tiny pinch of salt, a little pinch, in it goes. I'm going to put in one sprinkle of some pepper, all right, in that goes. And then this is my favorite part. So what I'm going to put in now is some garlic granules, a little bit of garlic, all right. And again, you can either measure it out on a teaspoon or you can judge it by eye. So I'm going to use my teaspoon and I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon in. Actually, maybe a bit less, maybe a quarter teaspoon. So sprinkle that in. And now with some basil. If you have the option of using fresh basil, it's always a great topper for pizza. But if not, we're just going to go with some dried basil. And for this, I'm going to put a good bit. So I'm going to go with at least a full teaspoon. And again, if you want more, you can always add in more. And now what I need to do is I need to give that all a good mix. Make sure all those ingredients are well combined. So we're going to mix it around. Making sure all of our edges get all that basil in. And we need to make sure that our salt and sugar is well mixed in as well. And that's the base for our pizza sauce. That's all we need. So I'm actually gonna leave this now to the side until we're ready to use it. So next is your toppings. So you get to pick whatever you like on pizza. That could be peppers, mushrooms, onions, sweet corn, sliced ham. You get to choose whatever's your favorite. So for today, I chose some mushrooms and some salami as well. So I've already pre-washed my mushrooms. That's really important if you're using any veg like um, uh, peppers or mushrooms, something like that, you wanna give them a wash first. All right, so I've washed these over in the sink already. I'm gonna take my mushroom and I'm gonna slice it up. So I don't want really big chunks because otherwise that's not gonna cook very well in the oven. So I want to slice it up, all right? And again, I can always cut these into smaller chunks as well if I want. So I am, I'm gonna cut these in half again so that I can spread them further around my pizza. So chop them up. Now, so one mushroom should be enough for one pizza, but I'm gonna pop in an extra one as well. I'm gonna chop that up too. Again, making sure the nice thin slices, we don't want it too thick or anything. 
go. Excellent. Now that's one of our ingredients all set, ready to go. And we can pop that to the side as well. So next I got some salami. But again, if you like pepperoni, ham slices, chorizo, whatever you like, you get to decide what goes on it. Should have pre-opened this. <laughs> there we go. So these can come quite big. So I'm going to show you, right? So this here is a sliced salami. We don't want that because if we put that on our pizza, it's just going to take up the whole center. So I'm going to chop this up as well. And again, I'm going to put it into little squares. So I'm going to hold it in place. All right. And I'm going to chop it up and I'm going to pop it into nice small pieces so that I can go all the way around my pizza. Hmm. Once we've that ready to go, then we're almost done. All that's left is, if you have real mozzarella at home, you can take that and chop that up for your pizza, or you can use grated mozzarella either. Again, whatever suits you. So I'm going to get the base of the pizza ready, and we're going to start preparing. So, I need an oven tray. So I have this one here, so anything with a flat surface will do, just to hold our pizza in place while it cooks in the oven. And now this part's a little bit important, because if we forget this, we can run into some trouble later. So I have some fry light here or some spray oil and I'm just going to give it a quick spray over the bottom to make sure our pizza base doesn't get stuck and then we won't be able to eat it. So I'm going to let you just do a couple of sprays over it so that our base is covered. Now I'm going to take out my pizza base and it just goes straight on the dish. Alright, so now that our base is on our dish, first thing we're going to add is our sauce. So we have our sauce made up from earlier, it's all mixed up, it smells really good. And we're going to start by putting it in the center. So we're going to take one spoon at a time. We can always add more later, but it's harder to take it away. We're going to pop it into our middle. And we're going to use the base of our spoon to spread that around. So I want to spread it all the way. I don't want to go all the way to the edge, because otherwise we're not going to have a crust on our pizza. And sometimes that can be the favorite part. So we're going to go all the way and just leave a little bit of the edge without the sauce. So that we get our nice crispy crust. Now I need a little bit more, so I'm going to go back to my bowl. Get another spoon and add it in. Again, I'm going to use the base of my spoon to work it around. Over we go. If there's any creases, make sure you get the sauce in there. In there. So I like my uh, pizza quite tomatoey, so I'm going to add another bit of sauce as well. So it's up to you. You get to choose how much sauce you want. So it's to your own taste. All right. Now that I have my base all covered with my sauce, I'm going to start adding in my ingredients. So you can do it two ways. You can add the cheese first and then your ingredients, or you can put the cheese on top. I'm going to put the cheese on the bottom. So I have my grated cheese here. I can either sprinkle it straight on or what might be best is I'm going to put some onto my plate and then I can place it on. I have my cheese. Now I can work on putting that onto my pizza. So if there's any big clumps, we can just break it up. All right, we don't want to get any stray cheese on the dish around because otherwise that will just burn in the heat of the oven. So we want to make sure it stays on our pizza. And sprinkle it around. So I dropped a bit, so I'm going to pick them back up. We don't want them there. And keep going. So you can put as much or as little cheese on it as you want. All right, and then you can start to add your ingredients. So I have some mushrooms and salami. Again, you can put on whatever you like, and I'm gonna place them around. I don't wanna put them all in on top of each other. I'm gonna leave a little bit of room between them all so that I only get it with every other bite instead of every bite. All right. Now I'm gonna add some, some of our salami. And just the same, I'm gonna spread that around as well, okay? in between all of our mushrooms. So if you wanted to keep this a little bit healthier, you can. So you can use a little less cheese and then instead of salami, you could keep it just with um, 
vegetables as well. So we could have our peppers, we could have tomatoes, we could have red onion and white onion, uh, sweet corn, loading it up with lots of veg that adds ready for us. If anyone has some fresh basil at home, you can add it on at this point or you can pop it in at the end. So now we're almost ready to go into our oven. So now we're ready for it to go into the oven. So we're gonna carry our tray over. We're gonna place it on top while I open our oven door. So we have three shelves in our oven at the moment. I'm not gonna put it on the top shelf, otherwise it might be a little bit too close to the top and it might burn. So I'm gonna pop it on the middle shelf and this will only take 10 minutes until it's all crispy and ready for us to eat. So you ready? In it goes to the oven. And that's it done. Now it's time for cleanup while we wait for it to cook. Excellent. So our pizza's been in the oven at 180 degrees for about 10 minutes now. So we're going to have a look and see if it's ready to go. So if it's ready, it's going to be slightly crispy around the edges. And we'll see that our top looks nice and melted as well with our cheese. Oh, it looks good. So we're going to take it out. Make sure we use something to protect our hands. And we have a lovely pizza with crispy edges, melted cheese, and some lovely salami and mushrooms. And that's ready to go. Feel free to add a bit of rocket on top with a bit of balsamic vinegar as well if you like, or have a side of coleslaw.